Do you know that real property or land theft is a growing problem in Costa Rica? It occurs in two primary manners. That is through third parties acquiring adverse possession rights to the registered owner of the property through occupation. And secondly, through fraudulent notaries transferring property titles. Squatters' rights arose over 300 years ago in Costa Rica to allow lands to be settled by the original settlers coming from Spain. Large tracts of land were left fallow and it was thought that allowing settlers to move on to these lands and acquire rights over time through agricultural production was the best way to encourage settlement. These laws still exist in Costa Rica whereas in common law jurisdictions such as the US, Canada and British Commonwealth countries they've largely been abolished by statute over time. The problem that's arisen is that these laws have now been distorted in their application and the system has largely evolved into the use of these laws for legalized land thievery. Government agencies now exist in Costa Rica that provide agricultural land for poor agriculturalists to exploit. The squatters laws are no longer required in this regard. Now gangs of squatters in many cases organized by wealthy and influential business interests move on to lands and acquire rights over time against the interests of the registered owner. If the squatters are able to stay on the land for a period of 10 years in a public and peaceful manner they can actually apply to the courts to acquire registered title to the property. The way to prevent this from happening is that any owner of particularly rural lands, development, properties, raw lands and the like need to fence their properties, place no trespassing and private property signs at regular intervals around the property and also police their property on a regular basis in order to watch for squatter-like activities taking place on the lands. If they are absentee landowners, they need to hire a caretaker to take care of the property in a like manner. The caretaker must be under the provisions of a written agreement, for if they are not, the caretaker themselves can acquire the same rights as the squatters. The important thing for any property owner to rec remember is that these rights of possession being acquired by the squatters accrue over time and not just at the 10 year point. So it is extremely important to take action to remove these squatters at the earliest opportunity to avoid such rights being obtained. The second manner in which property theft occurs in Costa Rica is by corrupt notaries transferring or mortgaging property interests in a fraudulent manner contrary to the authorization of the registered owner of the, of the lands. In the civil law system which exists in Costa Rica, a notary who must also be a lawyer is empowered by the state to effect such transfers of title or a mortgage acting solely and without reference to any other lawyer or notary. The document produced by the notary, a public deed, must be accepted by the public registry and acted upon without question. Because of this, this circumstance, it leaves open the opportunity for notaries to act in a corrupt and fraudulent manner to transfer or mortgage property interests. In order to protect against such fraudulent activity, an owner may mortgage either by a mortgage document or by mortgage bonds the equity 
interest in the property or the value of the property in favor of themselves or a company in which they are the interest holder. In such a manner, there is no valuable interest which can be stolen in the way of transferring or mortgaging the property. By mortgaging the uh, property in this manner, there is no uh, right of enjoyment of the property that is lost by the registered owner. They are in complete control of the property. There are no monthly payments to be made in the ordinary course that would be required under a mortgage, and they're free to deal with the property in any manner that they wish in the future as far as selling or otherwise uh, dealing with the property. In all respects of a purchaser of property in Costa Rica, it is necessary that they acquire a skilled and competent real estate attorney to look after all of their due diligence needs prior to entering any contract of purchase. My name is Rick Phelps. I'm an attorney from San Jose, Costa Rica, where I've practiced law for the last 14 years. I'm originally from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, where I also practiced law prior to moving to Costa Rica in 1998. I have two law degrees, an English common law degree from British Columbia and a civil or Napoleonic law degree from Costa Rica. I am a practicing real estate attorney in, in San Jose and would be very pleased to assist anybody considering purchasing lands in Costa Rica with the due diligence that's required to protect their interests. Thank you very much.